Hi everyone. I'm uh, going to do an inbox review of this, the Halcyon armored personnel carrier from Aliens. Uh, this is going to be my entry into the ISM uh, Sci-Fi Summer SIG Special Interest Group, and uh, there's a, quite a few videos on YouTube about how guys have built these up. They've done lights, interiors, extra grills, all sorts of stuff. And I'm going to do something far simpler. Uh, I've temporarily backburnered my anti-aircraft diorama. Uh, it was just too tedious for me just now. And this is a far simpler build, as we'll see shortly. Anyway, on the outside of the box, uh, Halcyon does... Uh, the drop ship, the power loader from the big final battle, and an alien warrior. But they don't give the scales. These are all different scales. I know the drop ship is 172nd, and this is 135th. Uh, the rest of the box is the same art and some gibberish on it. Uh, so, this kit also seems to be from 1989, which is about two years after the movie. So, on to the parts. So, we'll go through the instructions. Not a lot of them. Not a lot are going to be needed. Yeah, let's move that out of the way. Okay. It's, uh, four wheels. You're supposed to leave them free running and then different uh, plastic for the marker lights on it. Uh, that's all the wheels. The basic vehicle itself. A little bit more clear plastic for the driver's uh, windshield. And then the guns. Everything else goes on, and apparently, from seeing other people do this, you have the option of putting the minigun or the top-mounted minigun in the upper position or in the stowed position in the back. So, if you don't remember in the movie, this gun piece slid up and down on that back rail, uh, so it fit in the drop ship and miraculously also fit under some doors. Uh, there's only one decal that goes right here. It's just 2D uh, Sulaco, the name of the ship. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but oh well. And they only show two colors, slate gray and olive drab. And the slate gray goes over where there's exhaust grills or intake grills on the APC. So, like I said, I need something sort of simple. Do this real quick. I'm not even sure if this will show up properly. Yeah, no, it's, it's white on the background, so it's not really showing up. It's, uh, the backing for the the lettering is quite large, but it's clear and in register, so we'll have to see how that goes. Now that they're coming up on about, what, 17 years old? Uh, now the interesting thing is, Halcyon seems to do a fair bit for aliens and some Battlestar Galactica stuff and it looks like they're now getting into the Judge Dredd but they don't make any of the alien stuff anymore I assume their license probably expired and they were not the ones who made the figures uh, those were done by AEK, -E -A -E -K, I believe who worked in resin and this is all plastic now that's our clear parts. They're all tinted sort of a smoke brown color. 
I think that's a better show than I. It's a little bit wider. So they're not exactly clear. I've got a round, vaguely purple tint to them. But there's no extra flash, they all seem cleanly molded. And this out of the way. Not needed. And same thing with the sprues. I mean there's the grills that people have cut out and replaced. I may do this. I may cut these out and replace them. Uh, I think it's Probably a perfect job for all that extra Tamiya mesh I've got kicking around. Where is it? Yeah, there. Sheets and sheets of this stuff. And it's actually a finer mesh than they're showing on the model. Hopefully that'll catch it. So I may do that. Oh, no, oh, all right. There is a bit of flash. Right in here. I'm not even sure what part that would be. So that's 103 sprues. That's the next one. I'm hoping that's... This comes down and then changes angles here. Hopefully you're picking that up. Hopefully that's the way it's supposed to be. And there's a bit of a bend. Or is there... Looks like this corner rises from here. It's rising up a little bit in relation to everything else. And that is the bottom of the hull. Nope, it's right top. That shouldn't be hard to force that in or back to shape, even if it is bent. Um, that's, uh, sorry, there is a little bit of flash. Just a tiny bit. Nothing major. See, they've got the trademark 1987 20th Century Fox. That's when the movie was released, but the kid is saying 1989. And then this one is the wheels, which are just big, coarse chunks. Now, that's the outside of them. And some of the smaller parts, tow hooks, things like that. So, what I want here, what will be interesting is to get this built up and do a comparison. That's one of the sides. That's actually the door. A comparison with the figure. So, I'm assuming he's 5'8", the door opening's a little bit smaller than him. So, unfortunately I don't have any of the resin kits for the Marines. What I do have is this guy. Yeah. which was one of the resin kits. So just to give that some scale next to here. Yeah, big bugger. Anyway, that's my entry. Uh, and a quick inbox review. Simply because, like I said, a low people have done some really remarkable things with this kit including getting those lights powered with LEDs and stuff and the rear lights and lights in the, uh, the interior and at least one guy's done a full scratch built a full interior looks just remarkable I haven't seen anybody do an inbox or show just the simple pieces so that's done uh, and I'll keep you updated on how the build goes <laughs>